up y'all welcome back another exploration adventure today i am at another abandoned time capsule house cannot wait to show you guys around so ready up y'all let's go all right guys let's uh let's start this off right over here in this back living room area this is really nice this is uh it seems almost like an addition maybe later on I really like this room. It goes right out into the backyard over here. All overgrown. Got so much stuff on the floor all around me. Family photo. Sounds like a really nice family. Got old vinyls. Check all these out here. Charlie Weaver. I, you know, I'm not familiar with a lot of these. Most of these, so I really depend on you guys to let me know some of these people. Some Christmas finals. Very typical. But yeah, we got a wood stove over here. It's really nice. Some old briefcase. I love seeing these old uh, briefcase or suitcases or whatnot. Really love seeing these. Looks like we have some, was it this puzzles maybe? Yeah, some puzzles. This one's not even open. Look at that. That's actually really nice. It's not even open. A couple more over here, some gardening books. Uh, let's see. We got VHS. What do they got for movies? This looks kind of like Always Opportunity Knocks, Love Story. Back in the day, maybe when uh, you copied um, movies right off the TV or whatnot, right onto VHS. Got your old phone. There's a bunch of checks here, so I'm not really going to show that. Uh, some more family photos. This got like cool little windows going into the other rooms here. Uh, I'm not sure what room this is here, but we'll go around and check. And then this one right here actually goes right into the other living room, which is actually really cool. So. All right, let's check out this wood stove. It's really nice. Got a seashell right on there, check that out. It's really nice. I like that, I like the brick sitting right behind it too. What is this, like a lamp? It's really cool, it's made out of some kind of metal. That's a really nice lamp. I like this little platform right here. Put stuff on it. Some books, magazines. Oh, I just noticed too. It's got like this nice little tile platform right here. I dig that. there's anything interesting there but this is cool I like these chairs let's see if I can throw you guys a little bit more light there we go just everything left behind it's it's awesome, bunch of old pictures, family photos. Another cool light. Got all your spices. All still there. 
most of them full. Ginger's full, red pepper's full, celery salt, it's all full. You know, this is not a huge house, but you know, it doesn't matter when there's tons of stuff left behind. Like even more. When there's tons of stuff left behind, it's just, it makes it so much more interesting. When I opened up this cabinet, all I could smell was the spices. Got cups, glasses, everything. Just like one night, maybe they they passed away, the last family member passed away. And just like a lot of these, there's no relatives to claim it. And then he just sits here. There's pots and pans down here. Tons of Ziploc bags and whatnot. Yeah. This old school uh, microwave, so huge. Bet you it still works. Looks like you have kind of your medicine cabinet in here. There's some Alka-Seltzer right there. Some Metamucil. Giant battery. I think so. Another seashell. I don't think that's real though. Oh, this is cool. Check this out. Look at that. Sugar, coffee, and tea. And flour. That's really cool. Wonder if there's stuff in here. We got a pill right there. Looks like there's still sugar. I don't know how this opens. Oh, they used uh, they put little measuring cups in there. Not even any. Still some tea bags in there. I really like that. It's way up here. Papers. It's kind of weird. Cards. All right. My right, keys. Some more paperwork. Some more tea. All right. Let's go check out this room quick. Oh, this door is jammed. So it's like a bedroom. There's so much stuff in here. Clothing. I don't know if these people, you'd consider these people hoarders. Well, it looks like we have, like if there was a bed right there, a dresser right there. We got a sewing machine. Put all this stuff on the ground. This is the basement. Yeah. Look at all that stuff down there.
I don't know what room this is. This might be a bathroom. Yeah. That's kind of odd having a window right there. So you know that's an addition. But I don't know. I guess you have you can have the TV in there and just peek through the window and watch the TV on the other side. Let me get in here. Look at that. Actually, it doesn't smell too bad in here. One of these little slidey things. Look, we still, oh, there's like hair in there. Kind of gross. Some makeup. Some bugs, I think. I'm not going to show you guys what's in the toilet. Thank you later. So yeah, if this was like end of the world scenario, you got band-aids. I mean, I wouldn't take any of this medicine. That expired in January 1994, that Tylenol right there. But at least you got some band-aids. Some more band-aids here. I wonder if they're still sticky. Those rollers. Still got soap, just that was the last soap whoever lived here used. Look at all the stuff on the floor. Now I don't know if this is from someone just coming in here trashing it. Or these people were kind of hoarders. And maybe that's why like family just doesn't want the house. Maybe they were just like, I don't want anything in this house, you know. The house is gross or You know what I'm saying? Check that little old TV right there on the floor. That's that cool window. Look at that, guys. How cool is this setup? All right, where do I start? Got some more vinyls. I'm gonna move this TV right here. Look at that. What's these books here? Gingerbread house. Got a newspaper. Some guy that used to maybe live here. What's the year on this? 1996. The Everly Brothers. What 
the heck is that? Let me know what this is, guys. Is this like a camera or... Is that a TV? What the heck is that? Some more photos here. Clock or a radio, iron. Oh, I've never heard of this game. Some cassettes. Texas New Orleans bus tour. Saturday, April eleventh. April 11th is my birthday. That's really cool. Like just a vacation. Album. More albums here, more uh, family photos. That's a really nice clock on the wall too. All right, let's check out this uh, this living room here. Look at that, we got the Last Supper sitting right up over here. Very nice. Some photos, some more photos. Some bowling bags. And then this awesome little setup right here. I love this. This is uh, definitely, gotta say, 1970s, right? Look at this phone. Bowling balls sitting on the floor. Someone obviously put those there, but so cool. And look at this record player. Was that uh, eight track? Yeah, eight tracks. Nice. It's got the record player and eight track all in one. Really nice. Old Sylvania TV. I love looking at the old dials. This might even open up here. Yeah. Here's another one of those things. Is that a metronome? What is this? 
Oh, it can't be a met. It's not a metronome. Eight millimeter film splicer. Oh, is this for VHSs or? Yeah, guys, please let me know what that is. What's that? What's that for? Another cool lamp, same style as the other living room. Awesome. I'll give you guys a view from the front door. So when you came into this house, from the front, this is what you saw. And then you have the staircase. And then over here is that other packed bedroom. Just absolutely packed. I don't know if you'd consider probably like a low level hoarder. I know there's level of uh levels of hoarding. So alright, let's go upstairs. Looks like there's an attic. And I'll quickly check out the basement uh, on the way out probably. So whoa, we just got really hot up here. Wow, there's a creepy doll to my left. And there is a creepy doll to my left. Alright, so there's only two bedrooms here. What do you guys want? Creepy doll first? Creepy doll last? Creepy doll last. Wow. Look at that. This is a nice bedroom. That is a really bright coat. I mean, not a whole lot in here, but looks like more puzzles. Unopened too. Another unopened puzzle right here. Look at that. Tons of puzzles. Here, so they really enjoyed puzzles and we got these uh, little picture slides to mother a toast so maybe this was mama's room It's really nice. We got a closet right here, more clothing. Some more records. Jackets. And uh huh. I don't wanna miss anything. Oh, there's anything here. Oh yeah, look at that. Stainless tableware. International silver. 
Oh, this is all silver sitting here. Jeez. That's, uh, that's all silver. Blankets. Dresses and stuff. Puzzles. Check over. You yeah, haven't check any of these. That must have been Mama. to open and close drawers, drawers with one hand. Oh, it doesn't look like anything's in that one. Some linen. Our first communion. That is one happy baby. Uh, looks like animal got in here. Typical. This briefcase. Oh wow. Look at this. That doesn't look like anything, so I'll put that aside. But yeah, look at that. Some memories. Yellowstone, look at that. would want to go to Yellowstone. Holiday Inn in Iowa. Look at that. That's really cool. So this is all like, they're really uh, into vacations. Let's see where else they've gone. That's another one, Iowa. What's this one? Santa Barbara, California. That's really cool. That's awesome. They like to uh, vacation. Turn that over. It's got a name on it. Yellowstone. Look at this. Yellowstone Gazette. Look at that, guys. I've never been to Yellowstone. I really want to go. guys want to read that or anything. That is so awesome. So glad I opened this. There's so much I can go through in, in this in this case. Las Vegas. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad I opened that. Alright, creepy doll room. It is so hot in here. Whew. All right, guys. Look at this. And there she is. I mean, I guess she's not that creepy. The case of the sleepwalker's niece. Never heard of that. Triangle books and 
there's a marking in here. Let's see. Oh, that's just the very end. Lower this light a little. I don't like how it's washing out everything. Nice lamp. Doesn't look like there's anything in that drawer. Look at that. Is those that clothing still has tags on it. more puzzles. Tons of puzzles. Unopened. All of them. Ancient world. They must have like traveled and like collect puzzles and and whatnot. I wonder what this picture behind here is. Not sure what it says on there. I'm try to zoom in quick for you guys. Let's see what this says. That writing is so small. I can't see it from where I'm standing, but I'll check it after you guys can read it. Let me know what this is all about. Always Christmas stuff. It's empty. Suitcase is right here. Look at this. Look at that suitcase. Let me put these back really quick. Right. Look at the paint chip here. I love that. Another photo on the wall. this. Oh, it's like a little tool kit. Uh -huh. Little so old sockets, Allen wrenches. here some clothing looks like a chess board back there or checkers or chess whatever Alright, well, it is, uh, I'm gonna go check out that basement really quick. It is so hot up here, I can't wait to get downstairs where it's cooler. So, uh, yeah, let's go check out that basement. It is the basement. That's 
let's go. Hopefully these stairs are okay. Look, there's a rope for the railing. I guess that works. I guess maybe this is like another living room down here. Oh my god. They used the uh, jars to hold stuff right up on the ceiling there. It's kind of uh it's really crafty. Look at all this stuff here. Tissues in there, unopened. Another, oh, look at this old fridge, or just a freezer. Look at all this. So many jars, they're into jarring. Awesome. Let me know if you guys see anything here. Something not uh, worth pointing out, please. Look at all those jars. Is that a giant thing of cranberry sauce? Another fridge. So I like I like that. It seems like they knew how to store food, which I respect. Because you never know. Yeah, look at that. Look at all the, the jarred foods. That's probably still good. I wouldn't eat it. But it's probably still good. Let me know, guys. Y'all know a whole lot more than me. It's really tight to move around in here, so I'm just trying my best. Should I open this up? Empty. What about this one? Empty. Another freezer, look at that. Maybe, maybe one of them hunted and they would store, you know, whatever they hunted, the deer or whatever for long term in the freezer. This stuff lasts a long time, they'll feed you for quite a while. But yeah, I think this was a Whole another living room. Is that another bowling ball? Yep. Another bowling ball right there. Bunch of belts. More puzzles. Tons of books.
really cool. Let's see what's down here. So much stuff. If you guys want to see what books these are. That's what you get. This is probably just the bulkhead. Look at this uh, little room divider. It's kind of nice. Oh, wow. And more jars up there. Look at this. It's like a whole other section here. Look at this. You would not expect this. The laundry room. Wow. And this must be where the addition is. What is this? Look at this little chair. Interesting. This is a really interesting house. This old barrel. Wonder if there's anything in it. Oh, it was the kitchen down here, or at least a sink. All right, well, I'm glad I came down here. Sometimes you don't know what to expect in basements, like. All right guys, you know what? I'm gonna end this video right here in the basement. Seems lately that I've been ending so many videos in creepy old basements, so why not? I'll, just do, that. I'll do that again. And uh, please let me know what your favorite part of this house was. I can't believe there was so much stuff behind here. I was really surprised by that. Let me know what uh, you know your favorite antiques are here. So please do not forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And until the next adventure, guys, I am out of here. Later.